morning, ladies. Morning. Good How are y'all? Y'all doing all right today? Yes, sir. <laughs> Mamie White. C- can I give you a hug? Oh, you can do more than that, darling. Well, listen. Oh, oh, listen. Come here and give me a hug. Don't start with a hug. Yeah. Mamie Knight. Kirk, you come here, too. Oh, I love you, too. Thank you. I love you, too. I'm telling you, I feel like it's family. I really do. I love and respect. That's how you're to feel. It's true. That, uh, and I... I I stuck my head in there early. Normally when we have guests in here, normally the first time we see them is when they walk in the room because it, it, it makes it real. Like if you go down there and you say, hey, you're about to come on the show, what's up? And then when you get back on the air, you got nothing to talk about. Yeah, that's what happens. But man, I was, I was surprised because uh, the wife's been here for a little while this morning. Yeah, and I, I wanted to go in there <laughs> and I, I wanted to hug Mamie when I first walked in. Um, but I, I contained myself. How are you? Well, but why didn't you hug me? Because I wanted to do it live on the air like we just did. Made it special. That was even better. It was better. (laughs) That's great. Um, Man, when did we discover the the Wild Wonderful Whites of West Virginia? I I think I take credit for finding it somewhere, but I don't remember where I found it. I don't know. All I know is the first date that I ever had with my wife, we went out for dinner, and and I was like, you want to go to the movies? She's like, yeah. And I don't know if this was a move because she wanted to get down and dirty with me, but she's like, oh, let's just go back and just watch a movie on TV. So I said, well, listen, there's something here that I want to show you and see what you think. And it was the Wild and Wonderful Whites of West Virginia. And it has become the movie of our wedding, of our life together. It has. And so, man, we saw it, and then uh, and we fell in love because it's like watching our people. It really is. I mean, it's like the, the both sides of my family come what? together as one, but you're from West Virginia. How did it come about to you guys? How did you guys get discovered for the movie itself? Well, Julian came down in West Virginia in 1989 to do an interview for Hassel Aggins yeah. at this club. Mm-hmm. And Jessica and me and there was there, and we had a big party going on. And I thought, well, if he wants to do an interview with somebody, I have a brother that's a professional entertainer and tap dancing and joke teller. Yeah. So I thought he was a little bit more famous than Hassel Agin. So I introduced Julian to my brother Jesco uh-huh. and then it took off from there to where we're at now. Wow. Do you ever, speaking of Jesco, do you ever cook breakfast for him and do you ever think that he's going to take a butcher knife to you? <laughs> not one bit. I'm not scared. You can kick Jesco's ass. I can wear his ass out and that bitch he's married to. Oh, you're, not a, you're not a fan of your so sister-in-law, good. huh? No, I have tried several times to take her ass down, and he won't let me. Oh. Why, what, what is the disdain for the sister-in-law? You just think she's not the right woman for Jessica? Or? She's just the right down a Georgia ex-manager at the motel. Yeah. One uh, a smoking head bitch that oh. don't deserve to be with my brother. I heard that. I heard that. She's got him mind tranquilized. He's in Tennessee, and he's forgot about all of us. We've been... <laughs> <laughs> That's one. That's one. <laughs> Well, we have an eight-second delay. Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. And look, if we can do it, you can do it. I fully expect you to use this. Here's, right. a, here's a tip. Here's what we do. We say the word blank when we come. Like if I said uh, me and my wife blanked last night, you know what we yes. did, and I didn't say it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So just stick blank in there. A lot of people have fell in love with this movie and want to know, is there going to be an update? Because so much has happened since. Yeah. How long ago was that movie filmed? Five, six years ago? A sequel. But. Five years, five years. I counted up. So, how much has changed, like, in your life yourself, Mamie? Since Everything. What the, the the celebrity everywhere you go? People well, know you. really, the movie only thing it really did for us made us famous, but poor as hell. <gasps> Johnny really? Knoxville robbed us. He didn't pay us a dime. Are you serious? They they gave us a quarter of moonshine and two hundred dollars and come down here and filmed us. And told us when the movie sold, we would get 50% royalties. And the son of a suckers just slide the hallway around and we ain't got nothing from nobody. That's terrible. So anybody that purchased anything off the internet, website, anything from Johnny Knox with mine and Jessica's name on or any other family member, you're just filling Johnny uh, Knoxville's bank account. Well, I guess he sold the movie out to a Tribeca Film Company. Yeah. So they're the ones going to get your bank account filled. I go from church to church bumming food every day, and I drive on no clunker. And what do they do? They live in the city in caviar and steak, riding around the lower, and big uh, limo hummers. 
I like to take Johnny Knopfler by the balls and hang him and just do what I really wanted to do. Oh. Now, that's interesting because they got you guys are in town tonight. Ground Zero, the big show. Roger Allen, Wade, uh, the Whites will be there. Dan Dill is going to be there. It's, it's star-studded tonight. W- Roger Allen Wade is Johnny Knoxville's cousin. So does that put him in the middle of this situation? Does he know how you feel about Johnny? If he don't, by now there's something damn wrong. Yeah, <laughs> and he just stays out of it. He's like, that's my cousin. I can't do anything I don't care if he's his damn brother. He's just right in on it, too, as far as I'm concerned. He does his thing, and I do mine. No, it's but so far, he's been pretty cool, you know. But yeah. I don't care if he's Johnny's brother. Johnny is a no-good, low-down, dirty Tell the truth. SB. Yeah. And anybody that That's wants true. to support him is in the wrong. I agree with that. He stole our time and our daddy gave us. He took everything from us that our daddy made us to be. And he made us to be famous, but we're the poorest movie stars in the United States. And that's not fair. No. You know, I've I've heard before that with the Jackass movies, the only people that made movies off that, or money rather, was Johnny Knoxville, Steve-O, and Bam. Everybody else didn't make dick. Yeah, Not I've always terrible. heard that. And yeah, well, they tried back a film thing and selling the movie off to them. Yeah. So now, anytime anybody buys anything related to the Wild Wonderful Whites of West Virginia, it's going to Robert De Niro's pockets. Well, one of the producers made something, Storm Taylor. Yeah. Where he done all this running around, act like he was a little goody goody man, but guess where he's at? His wife left his ass sitting in a puff of dust. Now he's a bachelor, and he's down to the earth. Now he's going to come back with a reality show and think, I'm going to let that snake bite me again after done bit me once on a reality show. But I'm going to kill the snake this time, and then you'll get the bite old Mamie White. I wouldn't want to be on your bad side. Never as much as I love you, I'm as, and, and don't take this the wrong way, I am equally scared of you. And by that, I mean I would not want to ever cross you because I think you stick to your word. When Thank somebody you, wrongs you, they pay. And I will. I don't bother nobody. I do stuff for people. I go out my way to do stuff for people. As a matter of fact, I went over there today, and my sister sitting there can tell you. Which sister? It's Susan. Susan. Susan uh, Bob? No, not so, Bob. Then there's no mozzarella cheese sticks and no taco yeah. meals. <laughs> yes. And Mousy, Tanya, she's out in the car past there. Charles in jail. And she's Aww, out there Charles. sad and lonely. She needs somebody to go out there and, you know, rub Jeff? her up. What? Massage a little bit and love on her and just get her all steamed up and get her get right out of that old depression. You think get Jeff here can cheer up, Mousy? Somebody needs to go out there and cheer her up. That's a big, yeah. strong sample. I heard and a rumor. I don't care what they do to her. I heard a rumor that Mousy <laughs> is uh, getting blank tonight. Yes, yeah, I, I heard it. Well, Mousy's well, getting blank. Well, I probably are well, but me. <laughs> that? I, here's what I think. That is if you decide. This is the best thing ever. Kirk, don't quote nothing until you get there and see what you want. You haven't said much today except for the S word. What's up with you? <laughs> Are you looking for some action tonight in Spartanburg? Be honest with us. Well, I'm not going to lie. Yeah. I didn't come here to not look for action. Right. I Done. come to have a good time. But my view on the movie is I went through a lot of it, but the movie has changed my life. Has it really? Because I'll tell you, the movie's fun. I mean, you sit back and you laugh, you laugh, you laugh. And then when we get to your part of the movie, it's it's a tender moment. Uh-huh. It's a moment where you say, God bless, I feel for this girl. We see you go through, you know, they were with you guys for one year, right? Traveling around. Two years. Two, Two years. years. Oh, 500 hours. God, that makes wow. me even more pissed at Johnny Knoxville now. That's terrible. Two you, years of your life and you got 200 you really bucks. You don't and- know what I want to do to that little symbol. Bitch. Like. Bitch. You can say bitch. <laughs> so, uh, Charles is in jail now. So, does, now, are you two, uh, is, is there still a relationship going on? Who are you talking about? Mousy and Charles. I mean, with Mousy and it's Charles, easy. are they still seeing each other? Oh, is- yeah. She, I had about Baker come down. She's out in the car now. Uh, oh, deed over mine, I reckon. <laughs> what, a lack of sleep, probably. Yeah, a lack of sleep. <laughs> There ain't no way. God forgive me. Maybe we'll send Jeff out there to rub her shoulders or something good. Oh, no. Blank, remember? Blank, blank. Blank. Oh, Are you good? Okay. We got dibs on each word. I get the first half. Right. Right. All right, give us just a second to let this thing. You see that that thing up there ramping up? We got to wait till it says 4.0 no, before we can talk. About it's okay. Don't it's feel okay. bad. We do it too. Oh, yeah. We do That's it. That's why we have Between us once a week. Atlanta, Georgia, Squid Billy, something to me. I understand. I understand. You've had a, 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 a terrible night. You want to take the button with you to Ground Zero tonight? You're going to make me a copy of this, you? Oh, yeah. We'll, we'll get you this. Okay. Let's get back to talking about the Whites. 
you I guys. I've been talked about. I got my what thing you, to say. What do you want to talk? Let's talk about the election. Did uh, what, how do you feel about the election we just had on Tuesday? I, I feel like, like Obama. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I should have. I should have known better than that. <laughs> oh, you guys are all fun. Kill us. <laughs> oh, our, our program director. <laughs> Fart. He's about to come in here. Who's that one you called Obama? <laughs> It's going to be a fun night in Spartanburg. It's not like yes. anything you've ever seen before. This is going to be insane. We've we've learned that Kirk has come to town looking for some. Uh-huh. Right, well, Kirk? Not, not looking for some. Not, Are you not looking, looking for some? No. Oh, you're not now? <laughs> I'm only looking for fun and a good time and to enjoy it. Okay. Well, you're gonna find that tonight. Oh yeah. Right, that's smart, bird. Now I wanted to ask you, Mamie. We were on the thing there, and then of course we had to go to break. You you say she's looking for a good time tonight. Everybody's looking for a good time tonight. You're the maternal figure in this family. Do you ever get to have a good time, or are you always watching out for everybody else? I have to babysit them all, but I still get to have a good time. But I don't go plumb crazy out of my head that I can't take care of the rest of the crowd. Now you look at Kirk right, girlfriend. <laughs> Kirk, are you crazy out of your head? I'm the cop of the call. I no. take care of oh, all of them. Damn Aww. right. How's that boy doing? Tyler. Yeah. He's doing good. He's playing football, right? Yes, he loves it. How old is he now? He's twelve. Holy cow! Wow. Does he still wear the masks? Yes. Does he do that? <laughs> I'm going to take a picture with you in a minute, and if it's cool with you, I want to flip double birds and say, Dennis, is this. <laughs> yeah, well, there's one thing I wanted to say while I was on here. All right, go ahead. Is it about um, Dennis? Because I'm going to go for his bunch yes. of <laughs> Okay, just remember, when you have a word that's uh, dirty, say blank. I meant to kill that mother blank. Right. There we go. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes, he really did. Oh, it's great. As Dennis says this now. Kirk is my favorite one in the movie because uh, she gets naked in the car, right? Yeah. We did see your breasts. <laughs> now, do, you, do you regret showing your boobs, or is that so you wanted maybe to wait for a payday from a magazine or something? Or are you cool with that? No, I mean at the time it was just a good time, but now that I look back on it, yeah, yes, I well, totally don't look. Do. You got great nice, boobs. But don't get me wrong, I'm not ashamed. No, God you shouldn't be. Well. Yes, You're she blessed. loves to swing them things, baby. <laughs> don't you think so? <laughs> <laughs> like pendulums in a, in a <laughs> grandpa <laughs> like I can look at myself all day in the mirror. God, you're so lucky. Tell me, I can't. Uh, try not to. Mirrors Maybe covered in like throw me up. Everything I know. Yeah. Well, listen, you said some, we said some things earlier about Johnny Knoxville. Mamie contends that Johnny Knoxville and Storm Taylor ripped you the blank off. No if and ends about it. There's nothing, nothing good for them two dirty men. Now, I said it's got to be weird being on tour with Roger Allen Wade, who is the cousin of Johnny Knoxville, yeah. and uh, Roger's on the phone. Roger, good morning. Good morning. How's everybody doing? We're just sitting around listening to some butt ugly slut. <laughs> <laughs> well, that'll kick your day off right away. Damn right it will. How does it feel to hear your folks that you're on tour with? You got a big show tonight at Ground Zero. How does it feel when you know they hate your cousin? Not all of them. Shh. Oh, I love everybody, man. Look forward to seeing Mamie and then Kirk and and uh, Dan Deal, everybody in Old South Kakalaki, and uh, just uh, man, I don't get into all that. I just went. I'm just there to play music, have a good time, and see my friends, and um, just just long to see everyone. And and like I say, especially Mamie, and it's, and 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 look forward to seeing Kirk and. Uh, Man, I understand there's going to be sword swallowing, hillbilly rock and roll, and the wonderful white family, and and you just can't go wrong, man. This is good. You really can't. I mean, we know you. You're going to be up there with the guitar. We know that the other guys are going to be uh, swallowing swords and nailing things into their nose. But what will Mamie and Kirk do tonight at Ground Zero? I understand Mamie, They'll you might just sing. bring the charm and the love. What do you and, and it's going to be, uh, <laughs> I never know what's going to happen. We've had some good times. Uh doing these things and and it's just just a magical evening and just my old, my old friend uh mater my, uh, jason mater robinson i get to yes, see sir. him tonight and that makes it worth my trip yeah he's a good and, dude and he, he's a dandy man and i just have a a, a a true fondness for sweet old south kakalaki 
and hadn't been through in years, man. We came uh, down through there a few years back. Yeah. But that's been when I was uh, young and had a little had a little sense left. Now it's just pure crazy. So we're going to have a ball tonight, man. <laughs> Mamie, what will you sing tonight? Do you have anything? Like, do you have a set list, or is it just uh, whatever I feel like singing? Will you do Coal Miner's Daughter? Or? I'm going to take it out. Coal Miner's Daughter and Family Tradition and anything else oh, you want to hear. Uh, that's good. Jason, down, Cal. I come down here to rock out this town, and I plan on rocking tonight, baby. God bless. Swartenberg's going to be on fire tonight. I got a feeling. Gonna be I don't care whose ass is on fire as long as it ain't mine. <laughs> 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 you know, B at the Means is on that show tonight, too, and they get down good. Yes, they do. They are great. Dan Dill is going to be there performing. It's going to be... God bless. If you, ain't, if you ain't going, you're a nut. You really are, because you're going to get there. You're going to party. You get a party with Redneck Royalty. Can I say that? Yes. Okay, Nine said that you didn't know if you liked the word redneck. Some people don't. Right? I do. You, you I am a redneck. I love redneck. Well, I'm a redneck and a black neck and a white neck, so all necks don't bother me. Right. <laughs> it's the melting pot. Roger, we look forward to it tonight, man. I got to I gotta get a picture with you, okay? I'm looking forward to it as well, and, and much love to everyone there, and just uh, look forward to seeing everybody come on down. Thank you, We're going to give away Mater's house. We'll give away the, Jason Robinson's one house. lucky winner. You're damn right. <laughs> Thank you, Roger. We appreciate it, man. You know, I had this crazy idea that maybe Mamie would sing with me this morning. Are you in a singing mood right now? If you're not, it's okay. Oh. Family tradition, maybe? I was thinking about Islands in the Stream. I was thinking that could be oh, our song. Be I don't nice. want to go into no Islands this early. Okay. What about, <laughs> you, you, you want to do it's a little family powerful. tradition? Yeah. Nine, do we have that via karaoke? I'll look real quick. I'm oh, trying to find it. We got everything in the world. Um, <laughs> I'm scared to take phone calls because I'm afraid. We just don't. We don't need them right now. We we just don't need phone calls right now. Because I'm afraid. Really, I, I know. We look. We, you've you've said a lot so far. How um, uh, how often are you guys on the road? I imagine you got to go out a lot and make a little money. Every show I get, I'm rolling. That's the way to be. Yeah, definitely. What do you this mean? This is Kirk's first time coming with me. Kirk, this is your first time yes. on tour? On tour yes. with me. Now, what will you do? She sings. What will you do? Well, I'm just to look good. <laughs> You're just going to sit there and be eye candy for Pretty everybody. Pretty good. That's right. So it, there's a chance tonight that a, a single man could show up and maybe have a dance. Not a lap <laughs> dance, but a dancing on the floor. He may, to get, he may get a dance, but that'll be about it. Yeah. Oh, so now you're not looking to get down. I'm looking down to get down and having a good time dancing and having fun, but not looking down to get down with the man. I see. Man, you can have fun without the sex. It gets lost on man. I look. I'd have to look real damn good. He's going to be a good man. Uh, now, he has a girlfriend, okay? But what about our sister producer, Jeff Lewis Neal, right here? If if he were single, is that a situation you'd be involved uh, in maybe on. later? We can hook that up. I'll play the fifth on that. Oh, oh. He's, he's a handsome hunk of dude. He really is. All right. Um, can we give, can, can Mamie have those headphones? So she and I can sing together? Mamie, you want to do family right, tradition? It's only 30 oh, seconds wow. long. Right? Oh, no. There's got to be a... early in the morning. Oh, it's okay. Listen to me. Let me put some music on. Well, I know, but this is like, you know, when we interviewed Joe Montana, I told her, and this sounded so retarded, but at the end of it, it's like, Joe, do me a favor and say, Matt, man, go long. It was so dumb. But I look back at it, and I was like, God dang it. Joe Montana told me to go out for a pass. So I can't leave here today without singing with you. Well, then hit it. Okay. We're going we're gonna to find <laughs> gonna it right Come on, don't Maestro. What the hell? Don't you want to do 30 seconds of family <laughs> tradition? That's all I got. Just play the regular song, and we'll just sing over Hank. Okay. We all can right. do that. Um, tonight, the big show. Dan, do you know what time it starts? I suggest people start getting there around 7. Start getting there about 7. Okay. Yeah, you want to get a, a good, close seat. You want to be able to see it all live. It's what, interesting babe? out there What's now? wrong? I'm going to come to the hotel and hang out with me. Who? That would, who? Any of them. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> well, I wouldn't say where you're staying. I don't no. know if that's a good idea. You might have a whole Why? lot of people showing up. I can handle it. Okay, if you want to tell it. Oh, my God. Uh-oh, uh -oh, what's wrong, Kurt? I'm sleeping in the car tonight. You're going to sleep in the car tonight? Because <laughs> Mousy's going to be in there getting some tonight. That's what I heard. That's what the movie said. Also, has got three exist. sets of lips, and one of them's going to put out. Hey, now. <laughs> All right, this is the song ready? Yeah, man, we're good. Okay. You ready, Mamie? I'm ready. All right, this is a duet right here. Okay, here we go. Oh, this is great. Country music singers, 
I've always been a real close family. But lately, some of my kin folks have disowned a few others than me. I guess it's because I kind of changed my direction. Somebody get a picture of this, please. I know. Lord, I guess I went and broke the family tradition. They get on me, want to know, hey, why do you drink? Get drunk. Why do you roll smoke? Get high. Why must you live out the songs that you wrote? Get laid. We start Oh, okay. Hey, we, we can do the whole thing. God, that was special right there. Well, so good. I think, I think, I think uh, Coach yeah. Cephas would be proud of us today. Yes. yes, you would. I think he would. He'd be damn proud of your beard, man. Yeah, you would. What do you think about this beard? Is it too oh, much? Oh, I love it. Can I play with it? Yeah, come here. Oh. <laughs> That tickles. <laughs> <laughs> it tickles in more ways than one, man. Oh, that's, that's so good. Oh, that's my can gosh. we find out? <laughs> oh. Roger Allen Wade is back on the phone. Roger, <laughs> did you forget to say something? Yeah, man. I, j I just woke up when y'all were t saying all that. Uh, when uh, I heard about my cousin being bad mouth. Yes. Johnny Knoxville's the finest man I know, and I don't want to be that stuff, so I'm not coming tonight. You know, I hate to disappoint the people, but I will not have my cousin bad mouth. I know it wasn't you guys, but I don't want to be around the rest of that uh, funky man, and so I ain't going to be there, and I'll see I'll see him later, but my cousin, Johnny Knoxville, is the finest man I know, and I just can't in good conscience tolerate him being bad mouth, and I got hit with it sideways, blindsided by it. And uh, so I deeply apologize to everyone affected by it, and I appreciate you guys having me on. Roger, appreciate do me a favor. Appreciate y'all singing my songs, but uh, do me a favor, people, Roger. I, I people look. can kiss my ass. I, I got blindsided <laughs> by this, and nobody's gonna badmouth my cousin and me be a part of it. So what? thank y'all. I'll see you later. Kisses out of style. Roll me over and blow me a while. I uh, I I, I don't know what happened there. I don't even remember that. He got mad because he didn't like because I let the world know that Johnny Knoxville my found this. I know. All right. Well, oh, man. Oh, no. Oh. We got to I don't want that to happen. I want to no, go. Wait, I want the whole thing it. to happen. I want the whole experience We got to fix it. Let's get him we'll back. We'll fix it. Apologize. All right. Don't get him back down. Okay. All right. We'll get it all fixed. Oh, he was good to me, Johnny was. I didn't know. The show Jordan, will go on. They've all no, been good to me. So how can he be good to you? I mean, but whenever I call, he's constantly sending me autographed <laughs> pictures, autographed movies well, to get my friends. Well, maybe because you ain't called and asked for it. How can you call if you don't have the number? I can give you the number. I don't want to talk to him. Like I said, he robbed us. He's a con. He's a snake. I don't want like him to whip him. him. And if that's how uh, Ray feels, then he can suck old big mom of hair. Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> okay. I all right. Um, I'm Look at there, Mamie. That's all you. Oh, Just do me a favor so I don't get in trouble later. What, baby? Can she have a swig now, Nine? She well, can. Yeah, we used to do Drunk Girl Friday. We, we used to do this why, bit. Why not? Let me tell you about this bit we used to do, Mamie. Kirk would have totally done this. Back in the day, we used to... Like, let's say you want to do Drunk Girl Friday. We would send a limousine to your house to pick you up at 6 a.m. Yeah. We would bring you to the radio station. We'd have a bar set up, and you'd sit there and get drunk on the radio all morning long. Yeah. And then we'd see at the end of the show what you sounded like drunk. How do you think I filmed a movie? <laughs> <laughs> have you a sip of that. See what you think. That's apple pie, I believe, right? And it's that's been apple. sitting for a while, too. You think? You like that? Oh, Lord. Her eyes just rolled back in her head. What do you think? She's passing it to you, Dan. Yeah, get to know it. Y'all have that thing. Where'd Kurt go? She had to go to the bathroom. Oh, oh okay. I see. Did Jeff take her to the bathroom? Yeah. You like that? Yeah, good. I'll get, there's more where that comes from. I'll get that. Can yeah, I that ask later. maybe a question? That one Be of, careful, Paige. No, this is really <laughs> clean. One of our listeners put on Facebook, do you like Honey Boo Boo? Uh, yeah, what do you, have you watched Honey Boo Boo? I don't know who that is. Either. God bless you. God bless you. Because everybody well, seems God to. Bless. Here, I'm going to give you that back. Um, boy, that is strong smelling stuff. What about, uh, you know, updates? I might have missed it. I was out of the room. Did Sue Bob ever get out of prison? She was in for a while, right? I was going to bring Sue Bob, but she did just like this. Oh, She has asthma. That was, yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah. Hydro asthma. <laughs> <laughs> this ain't right. With all this phlegm in my throat, I keep coughing so much. It sounds awful. What has happened here with this show tonight? I feel, I feel... 
responsible in a sense Man. because I brought up your <laughs> disdain for Johnny Knoxville and then his cousin who you're playing with tonight has now canceled the show. Well, that's his problem because his cousin raped us off, worked us for two years, 500 hours, and pocketed the money, but nobody don't want to accept the truth about old Johnny Knoxville. And I really don't give a big cat's ass if uh, who gets mad and who don't like it. We're living poor. We're bumming from the church. We're running around in clunky cars. Where's our money at? We work for two years and 500 hours. Why well, get mad about it when the truth is stand when the worlds are burning down? And, and that's the truth. If you yeah. wanted to get up here and talk some uh, some uh, middle of the road stuff with us here, you want to just what's uh, going on? I mean, it, look, this is such a drama. Is Can this we show the moonshot up to an IV for Dan? You want the, you want a sip of that, Dan? Have some, yeah, please. Yeah, yeah. You better get your shot, this darling. Dan, I'm blank. <laughs> blank. It's okay. it's, listen, it happens. <laughs> Dan, you're texting Roger Allen Wade right now. What is he saying? I I'm not getting a response. Oh. Uh, you know, Roger's a great guy, and I, I wish that things hadn't went down the way they did. And, yeah. Because uh, I, I assume know. because you guys do shows together that that's kind of been the running thing, that she hates his cousin, but yet you do a show together. Makes but sense. But he didn't have to get mad about it. He didn't yeah, have I don't, to, I don't, I don't hate with him. with plenty of people who hate my family. Yeah, I hate his mom. Yeah, I we don't hate each other. No. We, you know, I don't hate him. It's just Johnny. Oh, gosh. So... What's going to happen? Is it, I mean, the show will go on, correct? you damn right it's going on. <laughs> we still got uh, Dan do. We still got the wife. The show got must the go mains. on. Be at the means will be there. Let be them the headline. Mains, badass, southern, rock and roll, metal. Let Dan headline. Kicking Dan, ass, kicking it. <laughs> Dan, you're headlining now. I'm making the oh, call. Oh, gosh. Uh, I'm not ready for headline status yet. Where, where's that moonshine? Uh, well, there there is. Is. <laughs> Kirk, uh, uh, Kirk, you missed it. The show is uh, now a little lighter. Kirk for, uh, was tonight. here for that part. Oh, you were here Kirk for that. Yeah, yeah, she was here. Uh-oh. What's wrong? You okay? Swap, slap the beard, sweetheart. Uh -huh. Oh, you want to chill? Okay, she's in the corner now hanging chill. out. I'm going to tell you something. The show will go on tonight because there are some folks here ready to party. And i got to tell you something. It could just be... Mamie and Kirk and Dan Dill tonight and the place is still going to sell oh, out. Yeah. Oh. I am looking at a screen of people that say, have them come by my restaurant. They'll get free lunch. Have them come down here. We all want to meet them. I got Moonshot, blah, blah. People love y'all. So that in itself sells the show. If Roger wants to show up and play, it'll be even better, I think. But if he doesn't, it's still going to be a hell of a show. Yeah. Dan, talk to me, man. You look so nervous. Uh, we gotta get I'm this not, going. I'm not nervous. I'm just dismayed. I just, uh, I hopefully I can. You're not gonna put the. You ho don't, hopefully we can regroup uh, and still put on will. a good show tonight. I, I just, I, I'm really sad that Roger elected to drop out though. But I'm, has he? Has he's, Roger, such, he's such a terrific performer. Yeah. Oh, I love his. You heard yeah. me. I was singing along with his song. Does? It, has I mean, he, he has the crowd eating out of the palm of his hand every time he plays. Has so. he never heard this side of Mamie? How she feels about Johnny? I, I guess obviously not. Uh, mm. You know, I, I really hadn't either, to be honest with you. Really? This first time today, so. But, you know, uh, but can, guess, can you know, he understand that's just how she feels? And there's still you going to rock and roll and, and party tonight and have a good time? Well, you, you know, I mean, you got, I guess you got to look at it from his perspective, too. Sure. You know? I mean, it's his family. It's yeah. his cousin. They're close. And, you know, and he feels like he should stick up for him. You know, I mean, if it was my cousin, too, I guess I would probably stick up for him, too. But, I mean, I try to see Mamie's aspect, you know, Mamie's side of the story, too. She feels she's ripped off. And, you know, I mean... Where's that shine? Somebody's getting a call. <laughs> <laughs> it's Roger Allen Wade. He's calling to apologize. You're the man, Dan. You can fix this. The show will go on. You can uh, repair. You can fix it. How tough it. is your job? What is your How, title of this tour? What is my title? I, I'm just the man in a guitar. <laughs> but you helped uh, corral this whole thing, correct? Yeah, I kind of helped get it together. Uh, You're you the know, Roger and I are, are good friends, and, you know, yeah. and I wanted to try to get him a show down here. And God yeah. dang it. Well, I thought we was, too. I'd, oh, man. I, you don't think I'm... We're not responsible for this, are we? <laughs> no, I No, uh -oh. no, 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 okay. no, no. I think y'all can work it out. It's good. It'll work out. It'll be fine. Uh, I don't know. Who I can we get to replace Roger Allen Wade on happy. 10 hours notice? I blame Billy Hastings for this. I mean, why all my wife Leave him home. He's babysitting. How is he? <laughs> what, Kirk? I can't hear you, baby I doll. I said, why all the drama? Why can't we all just be... Why can't we all just be have happy and have a good time and enjoy 
Well, the past is the past. Let it go. Let's start today and have a damn good time and enjoy a um, rocky sound like it ain't never been rocked before, baby. Right. Yes, I expected a cuss word there, too. but there wasn't one. That was perfect. There wasn't What's one. What's his name? Wade. And Roger Allen Wade, yes. We're in FEMA, we're fighting, we're still going to rock out North Carolina. And if I did it in FEMA, South Carolina, you, maybe. I am so sorry. So, yeah. But it was no insult to you. It was for Johnny, not you. And I'm sorry if you got mad. And, if, you know, you need to come on. Let's do a show and put the passing behind you. Yeah. Okay. That's right. Well. I guess I better back go. I'm in the corner now. No, I oh, said you come over. You're not in the corner. Come on Nobody over. puts uh, on. Kirk in the corner. That's we right. do girls That's in the corner. You, right. you, know, you know something? I've known the White family Are for about close to six years now. And yeah. I didn't think you anything know. could surprise me <laughs> until, <laughs> but. <laughs> well, can we get local leader? We got, um. It's uh, it's Edwin Edwin McCain, no. <laughs> Not his deal. No. <laughs> Marshall Tucker Band here in Spartanburg. Oh, yeah. Look. Six and twenty. party if they want to come. She's getting Oh, oh yeah. Party. She's stripping. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There you go. She's stripping. That's how we party. Yeah, here we go. A little bit. That's okay. We like. Clothes what are they see? are being taken off. It's called the Boone County Hoochie Coochie. <laughs> what are they going to see? <laughs> Tell them what you're holding here. We just. Oh, yeah. Come on. Hey, turn over here. Let me see that. Tracy's keeping the webcam on. I know. Get on that. You might have to see that tonight. Well, I see the floors are waxed. <laughs> All right. The show will go on. I know that. Like I said, without it, it would still sell out. With it, it would sell out even more. But go tonight. Ground Zero in Spartanburg, right there on Howard Street. More information at groundzerosc.com. We know Kirk's going to be there. We know Mamie White's going to be there. Dan Dill's going to be there. Be the be the Means going to be there. And the guys that are doing also it. Also Shotgun Disciple. Shotgun, Shotgun Disciple. Disciple. That's your boy, Donnie Rash. Yeah, yeah. Donnie Rash on drums. Oh, okay, we're still good. We got a hell of a show. Maybe Roger Allen Wade comes back. Maybe he doesn't. We'll figure it out. He's going to miss out if he doesn't show up tonight. He's going to miss a hell of a time. Any, any closing words? Any closing? Neither, maybe. Take a shot. Take this shirt off. Too. Shot, 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 bra, panties, shot, shot. Take them off. There she goes. Ooh, look at that face. All right. Yeah, Jeff, right. Take some water. All right, Mamie. I didn't make you take a shirt off. we got to go to break. we got to close this out. Any closing words for everybody? I don't. Just I hope everybody comes out and watches me tonight because I want to party down. I'm sorry about the... About the what's yeah. his name? R- Roger. Alan Roger. Played. And if he don't come out and party with us, it's his loss, but we will make you people happy. We're going to party and get yes. down and rock and roll. If we need to fill some time, you and I can sing again tonight. There you That's go. right. If uh, you don't like what you hear, then me and this uh, one eye guy. Right. <laughs> we will take you down to the ground, baby. So just come on out and party with us, and I will show you what it's all about. All right. You want to say one more thing, Kirk, or are you done? I do. I come to have a good time with everyone, with all my fans and stuff, and I hope we all just have a good time, and I just want to send out much love and respect to everyone. The top was time, right? Perfect. Yes. And now it's time to all remove our tops. We'll go to break, and we'll be back. Thank Move you all so much. Yep. So You're much, much welcome. Here they come. All right, we'll take a break. We'll be back right after this.